guys this amyloidosis is a very important topic okay so i'm going to cover that now amyloidosis please look at the spelling amyloidosis it's a group of diseases and uh, here there is abnormal proteinaceous deposit fine so let us consider any organ in that organ there will be lot of proteinaceous deposits which are insoluble like heart lot of proteinaceous deposits which are insoluble okay so this is uh, amyloidosis okay so if they ask you definition what will the definition be that you will write here you go please check this definition deposits of fibrillar insoluble proteinaceous substance called amyloid what is actually deposited amyloid what is this amyloid it is a proteinaceous substance mainly you have to know it is insoluble it is insoluble this word is so important that is why it will go on depositing collecting and just it's kind of uh, it never goes away okay and it is fibrillar because 95 percent of this component is actually fibrillar and five percent is non-fibrillar okay that i will tell you so go here okay and basically why uh, this word amyloid okay because amyloid see whenever there is a word called loid you know it is something like that but it is not that right like lymphoid right so something like that amyloid so amyloid means what starch amylase and all you have heard right so it kind of feels like starch but it is not starch it's like starch in staining in staining it is like starch because whenever you give iodine remember iodine you have done um, in your biochemistry so basically it st stains like iodine so they the scientists thought that it is starch but then it turned out to be protein fine hence amyloid the name amyloid has so let us look at the textbooks now we are looking at Hashmohan. here's the textbook uh, definition for you it is the deposition it's a group of diseases characterized by extracellular deposit of insoluble fibrillar deposit of fibrillar insoluble proteinaceous substance called myeloid okay this much you should know initially it was uh, named as uh, amyloid because named by virchow as amyloid because it was the material was like starch because when you add iodine it was staining brown okay when you were adding iodine it was staining brown which turned violet on adding turned violet on adding dilute sulfuric acid so is this much clear for you people good so now let us move on so basically it is not starch it is proteinaceous substance it was staining like starch so they named it as amyloid however it's a misnomer it has nothing to do with um uh, any uh, starch okay so it is that's why they call it as amyloid it is not actually that it is like amyloid okay then coming to uh, other stains that they use which will be we'll come to because staining is a very important question for you um, I will come to this. The main thing you have to know here is Congo red is a very important staining for amyloid. Congo red. Please remember this. Can you remember this? Congo red. Congo red. I am telling you here. It is a very important stain for amyloid. Okay. Now here you should know that we are going to look at proteins that constitute amyloid. In that we are going to use this letter A. Whenever A is there it is amyloid. Okay. So, AL will means amyloid, light chain, derivate, derived, etc. Let us recall what we have done so far. Amyloid doses is um, a group of diseases where there are uh, deposits of abnormal proteinaceous substances called amyloid. These substances are fibrillar mostly and they are insoluble. Okay. And they stain mainly by Congo red. Earlier, the stain was used was iodine and it was staining so similar to starch that they thought it is starch but it is not starch it is a proteinaceous substance so they kind of deposit everywhere and they create problem for you okay 